Shalom, Mark, Mr. Kamak, Pasha, and Jeremy Slaughter, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakaq, with Dash, that were honored unto the elders, the apostles of GMS, and honors out there to the brethren on the highways and by his teachings, truth, and all sincerity. Okay, back with another lesson, which I'm going to entitle When We Get the Power. Okay, because right now, you know, our power is in the words of the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, right now, you know, Jake is through. Okay, we don't have no strength for, you know, to speak of, you know, right now we're the, the weak, okay, we're the meek in the scriptures, man. Okay, but th this these, you know, these things are all going to change, man, when the Lord returns, okay, or coming up into the, the day of the Lord, when our, when our shall returns, okay, we're going to be, you know, endowed with spiritual powers, man. Okay, real power. Okay, nothing like this world, you know, you know, deems to be, you know, be powerful, man. Okay, because everything that's powerful in this world is carnal, man. Okay, and, you know, they're going to become a thing of naught. Okay, they, they're going to be, you know, inferior in comparison to the power that we're going to receive, man. And once that power has been obtained, when it's been blessed upon us by Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, for those, you know, begin with those faithful men, Okay, the elect, okay, that shall be delivered, man. Okay, we're going to start tearing shit up, man. Okay, with this power, we're going to take down the other nations, man. Okay, but, you know, right now, we can only speak about those things that are going to happen. Okay, but the day is going to come where, you know, where we're going we gonna to flip this whole thing on its head, man. Because right now we're at the bottom, okay, being mocked, okay, you know, you know, you can do anything you want to us right now, man, without, you know, any repercussions or, you know, very little repercussions from brothers, okay, because we're here to, to, what the scripture tells you, man, we, you know, we're as a spectacle onto the world, man, okay, so, you know, you, hey, we're just in the flesh right now, so you can do anything you want to us, man, okay, you can put us to death, you can, you know, uh, you know, put us in prison. You, you know, you, you can uh, <laughs> score and scorn at us, man. You know, ridicule us and that kind of stuff. You can do whatever the hell you want, man. Okay, but you know, in the days to come, okay, you're no longer going to be able to do that. Okay, and if you do, well, you know, you're you're at risk. Okay, but you know, we're not going to be able to touch the the. The, the prophets or the elect or anymore, you're not going to be able to do a damn thing to them, man, because they're going to have the upper hand, because they're going to have the power of the Lord behind them or with them, in them, okay? Doing things that, you know, is deemed inhumanly, uh, you know, not humanly possible, okay? But the truth is, man, we're not merely humans. The children of Israel are not merely humans, man. We're, we're gods, man. Okay, we're just in the flesh, man, and, you know, this flesh is weak. Okay, and we're in in a, in a time of our punishment, man. Okay, but anyway, let me start this. This Romans chapter 9, verse, so it's like it, 8, verse 19. It says, for the earnest expectation of the creature, waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Okay, the sons of God are the, are the nation of Israel. Okay, and, you know, you know we're waiting earnestly. For that transformation to take place, man. Because, like I said, right now we're just in, in this, in this, you know, carnal body, this fleshly body. Okay, and it's really meager and weak. Okay, because what we really need is, is to tap into the spiritual, man. Okay, and this body is not really, you know, the best for that. Okay, so we're gonna, you know, um, overcome or or supersede. Our physical limits in this body, okay, and our spiritual limits also, man. Okay, everyone wants to go to the gym and learn, you know, learn martial arts to become strong and all this kind of stuff here. But we're gonna surpass all these limitations that the, these these current bodies have, man, in, in all forms. Okay, we're not only gonna be strong, we're gonna be, you know, we're gonna be gonna have spiritual power, man. Okay, and with it, we're gonna subdue the nations. Okay, we're going to rise from the bottom and, and you know, hey, we're going to be put up the top. Yahweh Shai is going to bring us up to the top, man. He's going to give us that spiritual power. We're going to rise to the top. Okay, and, and ain't nobody going to be able to stop us, man. 
Okay, ain't no one gonna be, you know, gonna put be out to put us to death. Okay, ain't no one gonna be, you know, chatting shit with you and nothing about any repercussions happening. Okay, there ain't, there ain't a, you know, a damn thing this devil could do. Okay, there ain't no army that could take us down. Okay, so we honestly wait for the for the manifestation of the sons of God, man. We we wait to for us to become what we're supposed to be, man, which are gods upon the earth. Okay, In Psalms eighty two. I'm going down here for. Psalms 82 verse 6. Alright, it says here, it says, I have said ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. Okay, so the children of Israel, okay, you Negroes, Spanish, and Native Americans from the 12 tribes that are scattered throughout the earth. Okay, we are children of the Most High. We are the sons of God. Okay, that is what our name means. That's that's the, the name we, that was bestowed upon our our forefather Jacob, man. Okay, which is which is you know handed down to all his offspring of the twelve tribes. Okay, we are sons of God. Okay, right now that's not you know the position we hold on the earth right now. Okay, because of our own wickedness. Okay, but we are gods. Okay, and we will, we will, we will, we will return to that form of glory, man. Okay, it says verse 7 said, But ye shall die like men. So, right now, yeah, you can put us to death. You can, like I said, you can do whatever the hell you want to us, man. Okay, but in that day when we are transformed or that, or, or you know, we are manifested, okay, you, 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 you're gonna wish you hadn't done any of those things, man. Okay, it will never happen again. That's for damn sure. Okay. <laughs> It's like these these mangas, man. I'm gonna scream out. It's not even my last form. Not in my final form. We're not in our final form yet, man. Okay, we we are far from our final form. Okay, but you know, through the spirit of Yahweh, Shimmy, our shy man. You know, beginning with this truth, man. We we we're closer to obtaining that. Okay, all we gotta do is be patient. You know, we wait for the fulfilling of the prophecies. Okay, we gonna get we gonna get our reward, man. What we gotta do is be faithful and be patient. Okay. All right. This is Ecclesiastes chapter ten, verse seven. It says, "I have seen servant upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth." Okay, those those are the those are the people that are meant to be. Serving the nation of Israel, they they reside above us right now, and we're in a position of serving them. Okay, this is what the scripture is speaking about. Because right now we're at the bottom. Okay, that is not where we are meant to be. This is not where the sons of God are meant to be. Okay, yet is where we are at this current time. Okay, like I said, due to our own wickedness. Okay, this is the punishment that the Most High put upon us, man. Okay, so you know th this has got to change, and this is going to change. Okay, the, you know, those that are stronger, stronger than us are ruling over us, man. Okay, starting with the so-called white man. Okay, this is his kingdom, his, his rulership. He's got all the, the money and the power in the world. Okay, he owns everything. Okay, it's a force that we, at this, at this current time, in our, in our current condition, cannot stand up against, man. Okay, that's why we wait upon the Lord. Because only the Lord has the power to save us, man. Okay, but with that, with the Lord, you know, and any and and salvation for his people, okay, we're going to be blessed and gifted with power too. Okay, and that is what we wait upon. All right. This is Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 14. It says, is Israel a servant? Is he a home-born slave? Why is he spoiled? Okay, so like I explained, man, we're in this predicament because of our own wickedness, our own evil. Okay, and that's why it's important for, for us for us to repent, man, for the most high to restore us to our former glory. Okay, two thirds of our people are not gonna do that. Okay, they're not gonna acknowledge Yahweh Shimi Shai as our Lord and Savior. 
okay, but, or, or you know, or, or repent, but, you know, the Lord's remnant, okay, the Lord's elect, they're going to do that, okay, and this is where, you know, the power is going to going to come to you first, man, you know, the rest of the nation is going to have to um, wait, okay, until, you know, they are reborn in the kingdom, okay, but, you know, Lord willing, us brothers that are out there doing, you know, out there in the highways and hedges and, and diligently, you know, teaching these scriptures and learning these scriptures, okay, we're going to receive that power, man, okay, and, and like I said, use it to take down our enemies, okay, because like I said, we, you know, we're a servant right now, but we're not meant to be, okay, and that's because our power is, is, is being taken away from us, okay, because the Lord is not, you know, dealing with us, with us like that at this moment in time, okay, but, you know, we ain't going to be nobody's slaves, okay, we're not going to be working in any other person's, you know, um, uh, what do you call that, uh, you know, in, in 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 anyone else's industries, man. You know, raising up all their their um, raising up the nations, other nations, man. Okay, <laughs> we're not gonna serve ourselves with nobody ever again. Okay, and it's not because you're gonna give us freedom. That that's not how it's gonna go down. Because that's not what you're gonna do. You ain't gonna give up your shit and allow us to rule above you. Okay, that's why it's got to be taken. Okay, you need power to take that. Okay, which is what we're going to receive. Okay. Uh, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 28, verse 25. It says, uh, here, it says, Thus saith the Lord God, when I shall have gathered the house of Israel from the people among whom they are scattered and shall be sanctified in them in the sight of the heathen, then shall they dwell in the land that I have given to my servant Jacob. Okay, so we're going to be sanctified in, in the sight of the heathen, man. Okay, because, you know, like we keep teaching, like the Bible tells you, okay, that salvation is only for the Israelites, man. Okay, these heathens, these other nations... They don't have a part in that, okay? They 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 pay the side of the enemies, man, the enemies of Israel. Okay, so they're gonna be on the receiving end of all of this, man. They're not, they're not gonna be saved. Okay. So like it's saying here, when when the Most High gathered the, the, the gathered the house of Israel, okay, from from among the, the, the other nations, okay, they're gonna be sanctified, man. Okay, and you know, we're gonna go back. We're going to take our homeland back, okay, and we're going to re rebuild, man, okay, and this whole earth is going to be, you know, changed, okay, this is verse 26, and they shall dwell safety therein, and shall build houses and plant, plant vine vineyards, yea, they shall dwell with confidence when I have executed judgments upon all those that despise them, okay, like I said, that's, that's referring to these other nations, our enemies, right, round about them, and they shall know that I am the Lord their God. Okay, our power. Okay, so that's what you know is gonna happen and what we're waiting waiting for, man. Okay. This is Revelation chapter three. Verse eight. It says here, I know thy works. Behold, I have set I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength and has kept my word and has not denied my name. Okay, that's why the name is important, man. Okay, we go out there and prophesy in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, for Hashem Rakakodash. Okay, and it says, Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan that say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them come, make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. Okay, so like I, think, like I said, things are going to change, man. Okay, once we get that power, okay, everybody is gonna is gonna become subservient, man. Okay, and, and you know you gonna bow down. Okay, kiss the feet. Okay, 
your as I mean, your position in the world is to be servants, man. Okay, not to be rulers over the nation of Israel. Okay, you're gonna you says here you're gonna worship. You're going to worship us, man. You're gonna worship at our feet. Okay, because like I said, we're going to be gods upon the earth, man. Okay, and they, yeah, there's rank and there's tears to this thing. Okay, we're not we're not saying no. We're going to be like the most high on the earth. Okay, that's not what we're saying. Okay, but we're going to be gods on the earth. Okay, most high is still the most high. Okay, Yahweh Shai, his son is still you know above us, man. Okay, but Hey man, hey, the word of God just means power, man. And we're gonna be there on the earth. As a as a nation. A nation full of gods. Okay, and you're gonna worship. Okay. I'm gonna read this Psalms 149. I'm gonna read from verse 1. It says, Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song, and his praise in the congregation of saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them, let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and the harp. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Okay, so like I said, we're the, we're the current, current meek of this world, man. Okay. We're at the bottom of the pile. Right, so let the saints be joyful in glory, let them sing aloud upon their beds, let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. Okay, so to bind their kings with chains and, and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute upon them the judgment written, This honor have all these saints, praise you the Lord. Okay, so when we get the power, this is what we're going to be doing. Okay. This is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be executing vengeance upon the heathen. Okay? We're going to be putting people into slavery. Into bondage. Okay? It says to bind their kings with chains. And the nobles with fetters of iron. Okay? This is what we're going to do once we get that power, man. Okay? We're going to restore order and balance in the earth. Okay? It says to execute upon the judgment written. Because that's what's, that's what's written. This is the judgments that these are the judgments that are written that I'm speaking of, man. What's gonna happen to you? Okay, when the law returns. Right? It says this honor, okay, this is an honor. Okay, something that we you know we 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 gladly would do. Okay. This honor have all his saints, okay, all the nation of Israel. Okay, praise you the Lord. Okay, so this is what's gonna be happening. Okay, it sounds funny when you hear it, when we, when it, you know, when we're out there on the highways and the hedges, and you know, we speak about these things happening, you know, to the people. You don't see any way of, really, of that really happening, you know, because of your pride, man. Okay, but we know that the word of the heavenly Father is true, man, and this is all going to come upon the people as it is written. Okay, and brothers are going to be bestowed with powers, and you know, all kinds of you know crazy shit's going to be happening, and. and Hey, this was, you're going to go into slavery, man. Okay, your kingdoms are going to be destroyed. Okay. And we're going, to, we're going to rule with an iron fist for the first part. Um... All right, this is Revelation chapter 2, verse 25. It says, But that which ye have already hold fast till I come, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, end to him will I give power. Okay, we will receive power. Okay, and this, this is not just a, a position of authority. Okay, like you would have, you know, your presidents and your kings now. They're just men still. Okay, you know, they can be easily removed. 
okay but we're going to be given actual power ability abilities okay over the nations okay we're gonna have the ability to rule over the nation over the nations not just by a word okay because that's all these you know these presidencies and these kings they they, they, they just rule by a word they just say things and they and you know i'll do, do them or, or whatever but you know we're going to be given actual power okay to rule over the nations okay and it says and he shall rule them with a rod of iron so like i said it's gonna be a Iron fist to begin with, man, because like I read in Psalms, man, it's to do the punishments upon the people, upon the heathen. Okay, so it's going to be rough, man. It's going to be rough to begin with. Okay, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. Okay, so starting with your Shai, man, we're going to be, you know. Hey, we're going to rule with our iron fist, man, to begin with. Okay, to bring upon the punishments upon the people. Okay, that's what it's for. That's what the iron rod represents, man. Harsh rulership. Okay, so like I, like I said, things are going to change, man. And like I said, it might not seem that way right now. Okay, but, you know, we know what's going to happen and we can't wait. And all that laughing and, and, and scorning that you do, okay, you're going to feel like a right asshole on that day. Okay, begging for, for mercy, begging for forgiveness. Okay, but it ain't going to come. All right. Yeah, moving on, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Um, from yeah, I'll show you from 40 okay this is uh, first Corinthians chapter 15 verse 40 it says there are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial okay what we dwell in right now is a terrestrial body is an earthly body okay so but the glory of the celestial one and the glory it's like it, but the glory of the celestial is one and the glory of the terrestrial is another there is one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon and another glory of the stars for one star differ from another star in glory so also is the resurrection of the dead it is sown in corruption it is raised in, in incorruption it is sown in dishonor it is raised in glory it is sown in weakness it is raised in power okay and that's what it means to be quickened okay to be raised in power Okay, when in this body, this this body is weak. Oh yeah, you can bench press. <laughs> that shit doesn't. That shit's nothing, man. Compared to what we were gonna be able to do, you know, you're sitting there doing your your hundred kg bench presses or some shit, you know, whatever it is. <laughs> These muscle jack dudes will be doing, but it's nothing in comparison to what we will be doing, man. Okay, we're gonna have actual power. Okay, right. It says it is sown a natural body, it is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there's a spiritual body. Okay, so we're gonna be transformed, man. We're not gonna we're not gonna hold this body that we currently have, and we're gonna shed this, okay, and receive new bodies, man. Ones with a, a, a much greater capability than the ones we currently have, man. Okay. So this is and so it is written: the first man Adam was made a living soul, the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Albeit that was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and afterward that is which is spiritual. Okay, it says the first man is of the earth, earthy, the second man is the Lord of from heaven. As is the earthy, such are they also that are earthy, and as is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the earthy, okay, this body right now, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Okay, we're going to be like the Lord, man. Okay, of lesser stature, but we're going to be like the Lord. Okay, so now, so now this I say, brethren, that the flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. 
Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Okay, that's that transformation. Okay, we're going to be changed to our final form. All right? So in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the, at the end, okay, for the trumpet shall sound. Okay, we're within the end. Okay, we're, we're within sight of the end. Okay, but we're not at the end yet. Okay, so this is yet to happen. We're going to see this happen as we draw closer to the day. All right? And the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal body must put on immortality. Okay, we will become immortals. Okay, so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the same that is written: Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? So, like I said, man, right now, yeah, you could put us to death. You know, you could put hands on us. You know, you could do all that. Okay, but in 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 this time I'm speaking about, okay, you, you're not gonna be able to harm us, man. Okay, you're not gonna be able to put us to death. Okay, we're gonna be immortals, man. Okay, and you know this is part of the reason. You know, the kingdom of heaven, you know, is, is forever, man. Okay, we're going to rule forever in righteousness. Okay, we all want to have the law. Okay, and I say as long as we, we are, we're abiding, which we, we can't not abide in that time. Okay, we're going to be, you know, be forever, man. Okay. So, it, like I said, when it comes to this time... There's not going to be a damn thing anybody's going to be able to do, man. All right. In Psalm, Psalms, not Psalms, Isaiah, chapter 59. Because right, in this time to come, man, this all hell is going to break loose, man. And, you know, death is going to be um, <laughs> ready at your side at all times, man. Okay, death is going to be a it's going to be commonplace. Okay, all around you, you're going to be seeing this death. Okay, but for, for you know, the elect, for those that, are, you know, um, been ordained to to live through this time man okay we're gonna we're gonna be raised up man we're gonna be changed right and this is what isaiah 59 speaks about right says so, uh, verse 19 says so shall they fear the name of the law from the west and, and this is why you're gonna fear us man because we're not gonna be like you know the men you see today okay we're not gonna be you know weak or or you know You know, you're not gonna, you know, you can't, you ain't gonna be there to do nothing to us, man. Okay, vulnerable. We're not gonna be vulnerable. Okay, so so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Okay, the Lord's gonna raise up a standard. Okay, so like I said, we ain't gonna be the same. And once we once we've been changed, man, that's where you know <laughs> that's where everything else is gonna change. This is Isaiah 54, verse 17. It says, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and a righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Okay, so like I said, we you know we're gonna become impervious to, to everything, man. Okay, and we're gonna be doing that swift judgment. Okay, we'll be taking taking down your um, your kingdom, man. This is Isaiah forty verse thirty one.
It says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with e wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Okay, so like I said, we, we, we ain't going to be the same, man. We're going to be in different bodies, man. Okay, we ain't going to faint. We're not going to get tired. We're going to be flying. Okay, we're going to have all types of, of abilities and powers, man. Okay, well, we're going to be super boosted, man, to, to, to the max. <laughs> okay, to the max. All right? Performing things that, like I said, would seem inhuman because we are, <laughs> we, you know. As I said, we're the sons of God. Okay, and that's why it's going to become apparent, okay, in that day, who the sons of God are. Because they're going to be visual, there's, you know, there's going to be visual difference. We're going to have auras, man. Okay, lights and, you know, all kinds of, you know. It's going to be... That's what, you know, that's what they're going to fear, man. Okay. So like I said, we're going to be on a, another level. Okay. In Zechariah chapter 12 and verse 8. It says, In that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David. Okay, we all know David was a mighty man. Okay, accomplished many great feats. Okay, as a warrior. Okay, so, and the house of David shall be as God, as the angel of the Lord before them. Okay, so those of the house of David, okay, the remnant, okay, of Israel, shall be as God. It's not here. Okay. We're going to have power, man. <laughs> you know, I, I, I keep saying it, man, because it excites me, man. We're going we're gonna to have power. We're going to be as God. Okay, I'm not, and like I said, I'm not, you know, I'm not saying we're going to be like the Most High. That is not what we're saying or what I'm saying. Okay, it's not what the Scripture is saying. Okay. But we're going to have power as a god we're going to be as gods upon the earth man okay we're going to you know return to our rightful place in the earth okay as as, as it was set up for us to be okay as, as the angel of the lord before them because the angels of god too their powers okay beings of great might great ability Okay, and we're going to be like them, man. Okay. We have 33 minutes. Uh, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 51. Okay, it's Jeremiah 50, 51 and 19. It says, The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. It says, Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. Okay, we're like tools. Okay, like it's saying, hey, we're not, like, you know, we're the most size weaponry, man. Okay, that's why we're going to have great power, man. Okay. It says, for with thee I will break in pieces the nations, and with thee I will I destroy kingdoms. And with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider, and with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. With thee also will I break, break in pieces man and woman, and with thee will I break in pieces old and young. And with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock. And with thee will I break in pieces the husbandman and his yoke of oxen, and with thee will I break in pieces captains and rulers okay so like i said once we get that power man that's what we're going to be put to work to do okay that's that's the the, the job that we're going to be given to do man to destroy this these kingdoms man to, to bring them down okay to put people into slavery and to destroy people 
Okay, this is what we, that's what's going to happen when we get this power. Okay, so like I said, it's not a joke. And you know, even if you people out there don't believe that it's us, if you believe in the scriptures, man, you should be believing somebody's going to come and do this. Okay, because the, the Most High is definitely about it. Okay, but the truth is, man, the remnant of Israel is, you know, Lord willing, is us brothers that are out there on the highways, you know, doing the truth and all diligence, man. You know, it's going to be us, man. Okay, and we're going to put a fucking foot up your ass, man. All right. Because that's what we're going to be sent to do with this great power that's going to be given to us, man. And like I said, I can't wait, man. I can't wait to, to even the score, you know, with, 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 with these heathens, man, these, these our enemies, man. All the wickedness that goes on in this place, man. We can't wait to, to, to make things all right. You know, to shed this, this dark body that we currently have, man, this weak flesh. You know, these are all things that, you know, we can't wait for to happen, man. You know, but you know, it, like the Lord said, wait, wait, wait ye till I come. Okay, that's all we got to do. We got to be patient, man. We gonna get that power, and we gonna do the, these these things that you know the Scripture speaks about, man. Okay, and we are gonna rule over these nations like we're supposed to. Okay, and be the gods of the of the earth that as we're meant to be, man. Okay, right now that's not what it is. Okay, but like I said, we just gotta be patient, man. Okay, so you know, until next time, I'll keep on say shut up one, and I'll catch you boys in the next video. Till next time, shut up one.